Hello, my lovelies. I know it's been another hot minute, but it is that time of month again. So it is time for the unboxing of Box of Shadows um, Supreme Edition. This is the October 2019 edition. Um, I have not opened the box yet. I've been waiting for you guys. So without further ado, let's get this started. Um, little precursor if this is the first time you're watching one of these videos. Um, my Box of Shadows is a subscription box that you get every month um, through company My Box of Shadows. They're actually based out of Georgia. Um, kind of one of the reasons I like sticking with them because I live in Georgia and I like to support our you know, fellow business people. So um, as far as pricing goes, I don't know off the top of my head, there are three different tiers. There's the Initiate, the Priestess, and the Supreme. Um, in October, they also do the Goddess box, which is a Samhain box. So we did order that one, so I'm looking forward to opening that one for you guys later this month when it arrives. And until then, let's see what we got this month. So as soon as I opened the box, I could smell cinnamon, which is really not surprising considering the season and the holiday. So as usual, we have Seeker's Guide. I'm not going to read it because usually it'll tell me what's in the box and I don't want to be, um, I want to be surprised. So I try not to look at the list of what's in the box. So this is the Seeker's Guide. This is a Samhain um, box, the Witch's New Year. It goes over to explain what Samhain is and then we'll go over this a little bit more um, as we get through the box. So as usual, we've got our eco-friendly tag here. So just letting us know that everything um, that they package is eco-friendly um, in efforts to support sustainability. So reuse, repurpose, or recycle this packaging, which I do every month. So we got our wrapped in our black tissue paper. Oh my gosh, that cinnamon is so strong, it's ridiculous. Uh, now I know why. All right, so first thing I see is a little mini besom. So this is by a touch of country magic. It's a little cinnamon broom. I actually almost, um, and they're out of Georgia. Ah, awesome. So I almost bought one of these at Kroger the other day. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't do it. Let's see. I'm trying to see what we got here. So we got a Samhain candle, which is toasted pumpkin spice. So it's made with fragrance oil, onyx stones, cloves, nettle, mugwort, rosemary, and allspice. So you know I have to sniff this because, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Where's the smell of vision when you need it? So you can kind of see the onyx right there in the top of it, as well as some of the herbs. Next, we've got Shaman Palo Santo, Healing, Purifying, and Cleansing. So Palo Santo is, um, so this is a set of, it's a gift set. It's got five sticks of Palo Santo incense and one tree-free, eco-friendly gift bag. So the gift bag's kind of cute. I really like that. I have to save that for my Yule gifts. Um, but there are five sticks of Palo Santo. If you've not heard of Palo Santo, um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I do know it is an, um, I've seen it used rather, as an alternative to cleansing with sage. Some people will burn the Palo Santo instead. So that's the Palo Santo. And this is, looks like an oil bottle. Let's see. Come on. It's going to stick because... All right. All right. So it is... I see. This is a leaking, kind of. Just a little bit. Um, Mystic Ginger Apothecary Elemental Oil Air. An uplifting aroma. Roll onto the wrists or temples to open the mind and soar into higher vibes. So this has neroli, lavender, clary sage, mandarin oils, apricot oil, amethyst, and lavender buds. 
I'm glad that they put the ingredients on the side. Actually, one of my coven sisters is allergic to lavender, so it's really good to know um, what's in them so she know, like if I were to gift it to somebody, which I probably won't, no offense to anybody, I plan on using this myself, but um, if I were to gift it to someone, I would know not to gift it to her. So, but that's the oil. You definitely need to keep that one upright though. Oh, that cinnamon is so strong, guys. All right, what's this? This is something. Oh, wow. I believe that's a selenite wand. That is no small, almost like a pen, the point on that. But that, I mean, my hands are not like big, but that is a nice size wand. All right, is that it? All right, and last but not least, another book Oops, sorry guys so we got another book this year this month rather Llewellyn Sabbath's Almanac now I don't follow these month to month what I do with these I've got a couple of older ones from like 2009 2010 um, what I do is when I'm creating ritual I'll go back to the Imbolc or the Samhain of the books to see what spells what um, rituals and um, information they have in the books and that helps me come up with different rituals by mixing different sources so I enjoy this so this is definitely worthy and I'm so glad that we got this I never want to spend the money on it but I love this book so much so yeah this is definitely something I'm gonna have to look through a little bit more awesome very cool so that makes me super happy um, as far as worth, I think this month's box is pretty dang good. Um, the book itself is 13 and then you've got the oils. So let's, let's look at our seekers guide. Let's see what this has. All right. The seekers guide has contents. One sound candle by modern magics, which we pretty much get every month we get a, um, or at least in the Sabbath boxes, we get a modern magics candle. One Air and Elemental Oil by Mystic Ginger Apothecary, Palo Santo Gift Bag, White Selenite Wand, Cinnamon Broom, and Copy of Llewellyn's 2020 Sabbath's Almanac. So I'm going to read just this first paragraph. So this talks about Samhain, the Witch's New Year. Samhain is the third and final harvest festival and widely considered to be the pagan New Year. Samhain literally translates into end of summer, with sunset marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter for the Celts. Mm -hmm. The old year has passed, the harvest has been gathered, cattle and sheep have been brought in from the fields, and the leaves have fallen from the trees. Very cool. Well, you know what? I'm going to keep reading. Though many look to October 31st as Halloween, many pagans revere Samhain as a time to remember their ancestors and to celebrate the start of the new year. This period is well suited to practicing divination, working on transitions of all sorts, candle magic, protection magic, and working with or contacting those who have passed on. Okay, there is a little more. I don't want to read the entire thing. So they have a little information about using cinnamon brooms for Samhain magic. Um, elemental associations, color associations, seasonal, um, and actual spell work. Um, so one, one, I'm not going to read all of them, but one of them is pluck three straws from your broom and light them like a candle. Carry them throughout your home, cleansing your space with the smoke. Um, okay. And then we've got grief reconciliation and moving forward. So there's a spell to ease grief here. And this goes over what Palo Santo is. Just reading through this real quick. So Palo Santo is a sacred wood that comes from the Palo Santo tree, native to the coast of South America. Its name literally means holy wood. For that reason, the wood can only legally be harvested after it has fallen from a live tree. When it is burned, the smoke is believed to have both medicinal and therapeutic healing power. 
All right, and then it also goes over selenite. So not as much information as usual. Usually we've got a couple of rites or, or spells or rituals or something in here, but it does have a lot of information. So while it doesn't give me a lot of things to do, it gives me a lot of information to help me do. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Anyway, another fantastic, fantastic, amazing box by My Box of Shadows. Um, guys, definitely check them out. You can find them on Crate Joy. Just search My Box of Shadows. Or you could actually, they have their own website as well. Just Google My Box of Shadows and you'll definitely come up with um, their boxes. Like I said, there are three tiers. There's the Initiate, the high priestess and the supreme my tier is the highest tier and this one i believe is 45 about 45 dollars with shipping um so definitely give them a shout out check them out there's a facebook group and yeah let me know if you have any questions but i hope you guys have a fantastic night if i don't see you beforehand a wonderful blessed salad although i do hope to see you beforehand because they have that goddess box coming but yeah have a wonderful one. Love you guys. Bye.